The day begins at a downtown Regina Health Clinic. A woman shows up with symptoms of the Ebola virus and a concerning travel history. EMS workers loaded her into an ambulance and brought her to the general hospital. But all of this is thankfully just a drill to prepare for what health officials call an unlikely scenario. This is really about learning. It's about identifying what's working well for us in each of the areas and then to identify what did not go as well. The patient arrived at the emergency department where she was brought to an isolated room. She was then transported to the ICU where she was treated in a designated area. Officials say the exercise went well and they found out areas where they can improve. One of the examples might be um, some of the cleaning parts, uh, equipment cleaning. Uh, vomit seems to be getting into all little crevices. We probably will move to having a three-person team for the ambulance and one person never putting prote protective equipment on in the first place. That way the driver can stay out of contact and avoid contamination. The Regina Capel Health Region says it's been working on this worst case scenario since August and says it does have the necessary equipment. We currently do have what is recommended nationally in Canada, um, but guidelines do continue to evolve and as we learn new things we're bringing in more pieces of equipment. However, the Saskatchewan Union of Nurses remains unsatisfied and says workers should be using a higher level of personal equipment, such as a hazmat suit. Kim Smith, Global News.